Good morning, dear hearts. We are at review lesson 88. Our two lessons for today are the light has come and I am under no laws but God's. So we'll start with the light has come. When I'm aware of the light, there's nothing else. All that I see, all that I know, all that I experience is the light. Now I don't need to choose anything else because when I am in the light and choose the light and see the light, experience the light, everything else that is not that has fallen away. The light is very much love. And this is exactly what happens with, with let's say, love has come. Everything that is not a match for love or for light will disappear. We'll have no need of it. We will not focus on it. It will not exist in my mind anymore. So the other thing that we can say with this is, and compare it to the very beginning, the introduction to the course, because um, what is all encompassing can have no opposite. And that's what the light is. So the light has come, it has no opposite. So that means there's no such thing as darkness. Darkness no longer exists when the light has come. The light can have no alternative is what this lesson tells us. The salvation, our salvation, my salvation, has been decided. Now, the only choice that I still can make is whether or not I choose to accept it. Is my, do I have the belief now that I can accept the light, accept my salvation, accept the, the joy of God, or push it away until another time? But what will actually occur eventually, all right, is that I'm going to realize that I already chose the light long before I even knew there was a possible choice because ultimately there is no choice. I must choose the light because I must choose and be what I am and I must return my mind to my original mind, to my whole mind, to the mind of God. That's the choice. So, The second lesson is I am under no laws but God's. And the last, when we did this lesson, before the review, um, I substituted uh, laws for gifts of God. Kind of the same thing, really. We can also use the word truth. I am under no truths but God's truth. The thing, the the thing about uh, the word, the law, in this world, it has a certainly different connotation and a different meaning. The laws of God's, the truth of God's, the gifts of God's, what they all have in common is they don't change. A law in this world will shift and change. It seems to have different meanings for different people and different adherences for different people. This lesson says, I am constantly tempted to make up other laws and give them power over me where there is none. I am under and adhere and abide by the laws, the truth of God, which is that everyone, all of my brothers, myself, we all will um, rejoice in the love, the peace, the joy, the harmony, the serenity of God. Those are his laws, that we are all one and that we all participate and know and love each other and see the light that we have in individually and of course, collectively. Um, and the italics for the practicing, for the first line, the light has come. The one that I find the most helpful, I think, uh, for me, is the light in you is all that I would see. And then there's a space for a name. So in any situation that I'm in, to apply that for today or any day. And then for the second line, the second lesson, I'm no one under no laws but God's. 
the uh, line in italics that I think I, I can apply the easiest is my perception of this shows me I believe in laws that do not exist. So when I choose to believe in a law that is of the ego world and not of God, I believe in it, I adhere to it, I follow it, I believe it's real. That's when my, my pain will come to me because those laws are not real. So um, that's it for today. I hope this helped. Um, please like, please share. Please share and ask others to subscribe if you find this helpful. As I mentioned yesterday, this is a grassroots movement here. Um, and my, my presentation of the lessons I think is different from a lot of others. And if you like it, if you think it's helpful, I just ask you to pass it on to others. I appreciate it, okay? Namaste.